welcome to the class of engineering drawing so in this class our today's topic is development of surfaces so in the development of surfaces i am starting with the right cylinders so first problem which we will do today is the development of lateral surface of a right circular cylinder diameter of base 40 and height is 60 so this is a simple problem just a simple cylinder right cylinder is given and we have to develop its lateral surface so first of all i will draw uh, a reference line any reference line i is drawn then i will start with the top view of the cylinder top view of the cylinder is a circle so i will draw a circle first so i have drawn a circle of radius 20 because the diameter is 40 given so i have drawn a circle of radius 20 then another step is after drawing the circle we will divide it into equal parts so i will divide this into eight equal parts very carefully you have to try divide it equally into the parts so you can do the division of 12 parts also actually i have already marked the division points so that it becomes fast then divide match these points after dividing this into parts i will number these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then from these points i will uh, project the front view this drawing called the projector lines upwards Four and six will fall on same projector. Then five. So I have projected all these points here. So again, I will mark these points. One is one dash. Then two and eight same projector. So two dash, eight dash. Then three and seven, three dash. Seven dash four six and five. So I will give the just I am darkening these points. Then we will give the height. We will give the. height to this cylinder height of the cylinder is 60 mm so i will mark the line 60 mm vertically So this is 60 mm height given to the cylinder. Then joining the top edge. So this is our front view of the cylinder drawn. Now we can extend these projectors throughout the length. 
this time stretching their projector lines in the front view so this is our front view of the cylinder now we have to develop its surface now so development means if we open up the cylinder then how it will be like so i'm just extended this uh, reference line further so if we'll open up the surface this part then its uh, developed part length will be equal to the circumference of this circle so the diameter is 40 so the circumference of the cylinder will be pi d so pi d is i have calculated 125.6 because the d is 40 so pi into d is 125.6 so i will mark the line Up till this point, I've marked. Then we will again give the height to this this developed part. Height is same as sixty, which is uh, given. and then match the ends so this is the lateral surface developed and again we can mark the projector lines on this so what we have done in this case i have divided the circle into eight parts similarly we can develop this uh, divide this developed surface into eight equal parts so the method for dividing this length into eight equal parts is draw an acute angle and uh, divide this length into eight equal parts so you can open the compass 1 mm 0.5 mm it's up to you Actually, but it should be equal in all the arcs. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have marked the eight arcs. So I will join the arcs now. The eighth arc will be. the end of this point i've joined this then again from this arc draw the parallel lines So I have 
projected all these lines then i will extend these lines vertically so i've joined all these points of this developed surface so if you want to name the points we can name them also this is the bit, uh, bottom part we can write as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 because we have opened up the surface so last point will be 1 and if you want to name top part it will be a dash b c d e f g and h dash so i have name a b c d e so similarly we can mark these points here also a on the one projector similarly a b on the 2 c on the 8 d on the 3 e on the 7 then f and g on 4 and 6 f g and h is on the 5 so in this way we can develop the surface of a right cylinder thank you very much